So in in the the few weeks since Road America, uh, I know you said you're starting to make friends in the sport and all that. Um, since since the incident with Noah and how everything transpired and everything that was said afterwards, what kind of feedback have you gotten from people in the NASCAR world about how you handled it or just the situation in general? Yeah, I mean, like, I think generally, like, a lot of people respected my interview on it. Like, I, you know, a lot of drivers came up to me and said they would have handled that situation a lot differently than I did. But, um, you know, maybe a couple of years ago, I would have or, or whatever. But, you know, I had time to cool down, think about it and, and just kind of said what I said. And, and that was it. You know, I mean, I was obviously pissed off about the situation, but, you know, I'm trying to also make something out of this and, and mm-hmm. get to the top in NASCAR. And it's like, I think like the worst thing I could have done was probably go start a very negative thing, like getting in a fight or something. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm just trying my best to, to not cause drama and make friends and, and make this a good experience for everybody. And, you know, being a part-time guy, like the last thing I want to do is like cost people points or championships or, or whatever. Yeah. Like I don't want to be in the way of anything like that. So, um, you know, that I was, I, you know, I don't want to be in that drama, but at the same point, like, uh, there was nothing I could have done about that drama that day. I, I feel like I wasn't in the wrong there. So, um, but it was nice to talk to Noah. Um, you know, we spoke at Atlanta. Oh, you, you, oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We spoke NASCAR brought us in, uh, the morning of the race, uh, Atlanta race and we spoke and it went well, you know, so, um, you know, we, we, we talked it out for probably a good 45 minutes and, um, you know, he apologized for what he did. I apologized for things I did on track to him. And we kind of just were like, listen, like, I think at the end of the day, it was a respect thing where he was, I was racing him hard. He was racing me hard. Um, and the reason we're doing that is because like we both, really want to beat each other you know because we respect each other's racing drivers and um i think saying that to each other and everything i think we like gained a lot of respect for each other and we were able to like shake hands and kind of bury the hatchet and move on and then you know like driver introductions came along for atlanta and he started like just like talking to me at driver introductions and started introducing me to like other drivers and stuff like as if we were like best friends so um i don't know yeah so it was um it was pretty cool to like see the transition of it all and um you know i respect him as a driver i i really do like i mean i think he's one of the most talented guys in the series um he's earned what he's done in the series um and you know he'll be in cup for sure like you know i mean he's just one of those guys that's got what it takes um so you know i I think it's cool to be able to race a guy like that especially like i think that's why tommy was so pumped up like he was so excited that we were like racing a, a junior motorsports car you know like um and then the way it ended was just like you know that just sucked but at the end of the day um i think people noticed that we were there and i think noah noticed we were there and he didn't really like that we were there so um <laughs> but i think at the end of the day like everything is is pretty good now with me and noah and okay. um, we've moved on and i don't think there's a uh, any like bad blood there so I, I i don't think like you're gonna like see us like the next time we're on track, like we're going to be like purposely like running into each other yeah. anymore. Like I think like those days, you know, are past us. Okay. Well, I, I was thinking about it like in the week or so after it and the way your reaction to the incident. And I thought, okay, Sage Karam, this, this is a race car driver who, you know, six years ago was in an accident that resulted in a tragedy. Um, did, did that, that being a part of your background does that kind of re- impact your reaction yeah. to being intentionally wrecked like i've been a part of an accident yeah yeah that's I, I, i've ex- i explained that to him i explained that to him I, I i said listen dude i there's no one more no one here more than me that knows like freak accidents in racing like and you know the reason why I'm so pissed about what happened was because I've been a part of freak accidents and, and all that. And, um, you know, to cause an accident on purpose that could result in something like that 
is just like baffling to me. Like, that's what I, I, I said to him. And I was just like, like, dude, like I, you know, and sure. I don't think he looked at it like that, you know? And then until I said it and he was like, you know, you're right. And, and that's where I think like he, he like it, it kind of like lit up in his head and it was just like, yeah, that was, that was not cool on my part. And, and, well, and well, trust me, he, did you have to tell him that you were part of that accident or was he aware of that, the thing you were at Pocono? with Justin Wilson. Um, I'm sure he was aware of it. I, I, okay. I didn't like go into details about it, but okay. I'm sure, I'm sure he knew about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, like that, that was just why I was so frustrated about it. And then like literally the next day you watch the formula one race and it was like, there's another in- incident of a complete accident on a straight line. Somebody didn't see somebody and goes flying up over him and nearly goes into the bleachers and like, could have ended very, very badly. And that's on accident. So it was like the whole like purposely doing it thing was, was wrong in my book. And it's like, I told him, I said, no, like, you know, I am all for hard racing. Like if you want to door me in even the next corner, like it's just the slowest corner on track, it's a hairpin. Like if you wanted to door me there and push me off, like I'm totally fine with that. That That's like how this racing has been, you know, over here of what I've seen is, is a lot of aggression and, and that's totally fine by me. And, but like, anytime we're starting to like do stuff that's taking a risk that we don't need to take of, of, because it's just like a, a decision on emotion. I said, that's just not cool. And like, that's just not going to fly with me, but you know, if you want to race me hard and you want to rub wheels and doors or whatever, and like, I'm all for that, but uh, you know, I'm not going to, be okay with just getting turned into on a straight line. So he understood that it was all good.